Welcome everybody. Um, it's, it's a beautiful start for the week, right? Now this is only Tuesday and it doesn't matter if you are starting a day behind or not, just jump in. So we're going to be talking about healthy staples in your kitchen and for your meals. Hi Megan. So the reason we're doing this is because when we set ourselves up for success, we're more likely to get it. So you don't want to sabotage yourself by having stuff in your kitchen and not being prepared for what you want to eat. So I want to first say welcome to everybody who is in the group. This is a great celebration that you are honoring yourself with this. I'm Paula Rollins. I'm a holistic health coach, integrative coach, and we're integrating food into this. Now, integrative has more to do with that. And honestly, the first things, I started typing up all this stuff for you because there's so many important things, but food. The biggest foods that you're going to have that aren't things that you actually think about as food maybe are your movement, which we're gonna be doing, that's part of the challenge too, and sleep. And we haven't talked about sleep a whole lot. And if you have issues around sleep, put a an S, S, or backwards, an S in the comments if you want some tips on sleep to be included in the challenge, and we can definitely do that for you. And then the other thing, uh, you do put it in your mouth, but you don't usually buy it at the store, and that's water. Now, you may buy it at the store. Um, we have a water filter, and water is really, really important for uh, good health. We are so much percentage of our, of our body weight is water, and maybe you're retaining some right now, but we're gonna change that. Hi, Adela, hi, Carmel. So what we're gonna do right now, though, um, you wanna make sure that you have really good water. What we're gonna do now, though, is look at what the foods are that are in your kitchen, and this is a time to look through what you have and decide what you want to get out of your kitchen right now. So if you think there's some things in your kitchen right now that you would like to get out of the kitchen that you think are gonna sabotage you, then all right, Karen, we'll do that for you, thanks. Um, if you think that there's some things in your kitchen right now that are gonna sabotage you, put a one down in the comments. And I would be surprised, and this is for replay viewers too, I would be surprised if you don't put a one down. And actually, I was going through, because I have to be public now with my kitchen, I was going through what we have, and I, we do share our homes with other people, right? So you will see some things today that might not be what I would suggest for you, but that my husband is kind of hooked on and he's going to have in the house. And we do have like some leftover Christmas candy, stuff like that. Fortunately, the good, the good news is it's left over, right? <laughs> that means we haven't actually consumed it. So the reason you wanna put a one down there and own some of this is like, okay, get yourself in the mindset of, what are the things here that aren't really serving me that I would just like to give 30 days of time away from? So I'm not so tempted, so I'm not sabotaging myself. All right, hi, Carol. So, we're gonna start in the freezer. We're gonna start with the smaller area first and we're gonna move around. And now, if you have not downloaded, I have this, this is in the, it's backwards in here. This is in the files. If you go in the group and hit and go to files, you'll find this and it's called Healthy Food Staples. You can print this out and you can kind of go through it. And this is gonna be customized to you, of course. Hi, Marty. Uh, so let's go to the, let's go to the freezer. Now ours is, Ours is a, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Anyway, ours is a, a, a below freezer, and I'm just gonna show you some of the things that we have. So in the freezer staples, we wanna, first we wanna have some, I keep proteins in there, and I keep beef, poultry, uh, some, I, we don't have any lamb right now, but we've had lamb before, fish, uh, seafood, um, nuts and seeds and frozen veggies and some breads mostly. So what you're gonna see here is we've got on this list, you can see I've got some whole grain bread, I've got some cheese. We, have a, we usually keep a couple of packs of frozen cheese. You see there's Italian and there's mozzarella. That's just handy to grab and sprinkle on. It's, it, it, it thaws really easily, so it's a great place to put it. So if you're not eating cheese a lot, which we want to have a limited amount of cheese because it's just such high fat and it's not the greatest of fats, but still we want to have some cheese. It's okay. And if you are non-dairy, then you probably have some cheese alternative and you might want to keep that in the refrigerator. 
Um, but we want to have some of that handy. And then I also have over here, I have some chopped up, these are mixed vegetables. This is chopped up peppers for chili that I got from this from the summer. And this is chopped up, this is chopped up um, uh, bleh, ginger root. And I keep that in the freezer. If you keep it in your produce section of your uh, refrigerator, it keeps for a while, but it does dry out and it gets a little moldy sometimes. So um, I go ahead and peel it. This one's not peeled, but I go ahead and peel it and chop it into pieces that I can use in recipes. I could dice for recipes or I can cut up and, oh, it's delicious in tea. All right, so then we go to what we're really thinking of when we think of the staples in the freezer. So you see we've got We've got some frozen fruits. Now, if you're doing the uh, meal plan, you're definitely gonna want a bag of frozen fruit or two. And I, I'm gonna be putting, I have not finished it yet, I'm gonna be putting a list, of a shopping list for the 1200 calorie uh, meal plan. And then you can adapt that and you can add to that depending on how many people you have that are following it in your family or if you are going for a higher calorie count. So we also have, and I love, I love the vegetables here. Peas and carrots are a staple for me. Uh, chopped spinach is great. And you can actually put these in smoothies too if you want a cold smoothie. Chopped broccoli is handy. Now, these, some of my favorites are these, these mixes. These, these vegetable mixes are very interesting and fun to just be able to pop into a pan uh, for some veggies. And then I use this a lot. It's a, it's a, pepper and onion blend and this is really great for if you're making a stir fry there are also other mixed veggies in there i got some green beans but i have a lot you see most most of my freezer is frozen proteins and frozen fruits and vegetables okay so oh now it's beeping at me so um, then in this on this section we have got um chicken thighs we've got chicken like, let me close this. Oh, no, it stopped. Uh, chicken thighs. We've got ground beef. I don't have any ground poultry right now, but I should have because that's in the menu. Some raw shrimp. Uh, and I buy the wild caught raw shrimp because wild caught for fish and seafood is much better for you. It has less contaminants. So that's where you're going to put that. Now we do have also, we have some nuts. Now, if you can see here on the door, I have some walnuts. Oh, we need some more walnuts. I have walnuts and I have sunflower seeds. I also have, oh, here's some more walnuts. What I do need is I need some frozen almonds. Now, when I buy my almonds, I buy any kind of nuts that I buy, I usually buy raw and then I keep it, I keep the raw nuts in the freezer because they're, they stay very fresh that way and I can just take out what I want. They thaw out very rapidly, but it keeps the fats healthy for you. And the raw ones are better for you for the, uh, for the fats than the roasted ones. I know you might like the roasted ones better, but the salt, we are a little bit addicted to the saltiness of that. And actually those fats are um, really not so healthy for you. So yeah, if you really need to, if that's the only way you're gonna eat nuts, just keep it light on those, but it's much better to have the raw ones. And you'll find that you develop a taste for that. They actually have a slightly sweet taste to them when they're not roasted, okay? So now we're gonna go into the fridge. I think I can even prop this on here so you can see it in the fridge. So what have we got? Did there anything else I missed on this? So when you, when you choose fish, the best fish I have in here, the best fish choices, the healthiest choices are gonna be um, wild-caught salmon, cod and wild caught pollock not the farmed you don't want farmed fish um, and i usually buy that fresh when it's on sale and i'll freeze it right away if you are buying fish that is um is was pre-frozen then you probably want to eat that right away you don't want to you don't want to um you don't want to freeze that again hey robin hey sherry so okay we're gonna go into the refrigerator now let's see what things we have in the refrigerator all right not too bad i did clean up a little bit i have to admit so in the door we'll start with the door we, well no we won't start with the door we'll start with the main compartments all right so you can see we've got a couple dozen eggs here i don't know if you can see that yeah we got a couple dozen eggs here and then you're going to need a couple dozen for for the meal plan 
you're gonna want some kind of milk. Now, we have a lot of different milks. We have regular dairy milk. We have almond milk. I like the vanilla, non-sweetened. And we have oat milk too. So whatever milk or milk-like thing, this is. these are very important when you're stepping into this because we've got a lot of smoothie recipes in here and there's milks in some of the recipes and you want some good milk. So I get organic. Um, the, uh, the, the vanilla milk is also organic, or the vanilla uh, almond milk. So then we also have a couple leftover eggs. And back in the corner is where I have some more seeds and nuts. And then we've got, uh, you can see how much of my refrigerator is produce. But we do have other stuff. We have some cottage cheese, that's in the list. We have some, um, some organic yogurt. Now, I, my favorite brand, by the way, is Nancy's. Uh, you want something that's that's thicker. Um, so let's, uh, Nancy's is sort of a, it's a thick regular yogurt or you want a Greek yogurt. We want something thick for the meal plan. I also have some homemade kimchi and I'm making some more on the counter. Got some salsa. Uh, this is a great snack, some kind of um, mix. Very low calorie if you're wanting a, to have some handy snacks. And then we have veggies and fruits. Now you can see my vegetable compartment is not big enough for all the veggies I have. I've got veggies here, I've got veggies here, I've got veggies here. That's okay. So you're gonna put in your drawer the vegetables that don't keep as well. Um, these actually, this doesn't actually keep as well, but you're gonna be eating a lot of salads, so you can probably get one of these. This is a baby spring mix that's organic. I've got some mushrooms. I have some broccoli. These are broccoli crowns, so there's less stem. I've got some cauliflower back here, and I've got some kale. What else have I got? Oh, I forgot to put this on the list, so I have to add this. This is bok choy, which is a delicious, um, it's a crucifer, it's, it's like a cabbage, but it's really sweet and good. Uh, you can stir fry that. We've got oh, cabbage, we've got a lot of munchy type vegetables. We've got celery, carrots, cucumbers, red and green peppers. We have radishes. And we also have some more greens. I have some Swiss chard greens in here. And I have some pea pods in here too, the, the snap peas. So you're gonna want some veggies that you can cut and keep. Like, this isn't a really good example. <laughs> I, I, was going to, I was gonna cut up some veggies. These are actually for a salad. But you can cut up a couple days worth of veggies and have them in there. Great finger food. All right, then we've got a complaining refrigerator again. Then we've got the fruits. Now, mostly what I keep in my fruit drawer is citrus, apples, and berries. So those are the main things, and that's kind of what's in season right now, and then that keeps well. It's nice to have some fresh berries on hand. I happen in that right now I have some, some navel oranges, I have some clementines, I have grapefruit, I have my favorite couple kinds of apples. I know I cram a lot in there too. But you want to have at least two or three different kinds of fruits. I particularly love berries as a choice. They are so high in fiber. They're really, really good for you. Then we've got our cheese and meat drawer. Um, we did have some smoked salmon in there yesterday, but guess what? We ate it. It's so good. But this is where we keep our tortillas. These are like the whole wheat tortillas. I actually found these. These are kind of interesting. Um, they're, they're power green wraps, which are a little bit lower calorie. You can find a lot of options, and you can find gluten-free ones, too. And I will have a couple of, we have, like, some sliced Gouda cheese. You're going to want a couple of different kinds of sliced cheese or cheese that you can slice. And I particularly like something that's real sharp and maybe a mozzarella or maybe mozzarella balls. And, you know, make it a treat. And we also have, uh, we have crumbled goat cheese, and we also have feta. You're going to want some feta for this plan, too. And this is also where I keep some hard-boiled eggs, and I usually boil eight at a time and keep those on hand because you're gonna be using hard-boiled eggs. These are a great source of protein. It's a, it's a beautiful whole food. And you want protein in pretty much every meal that you have, so this is a great way to do it. Now we have our drinks over here, and the drinks for us are, we have organic seltzer water. It just, it just has the flavors. It's naturally flavored with essential oils. Uh, we do have a couple mics in there. That's really not on the plan. And then we have our accessory things. We have, um, we're going to have some maple syrup. We have, this is a cherry sour spread, but this is also, you know, this is where we keep our, our jam. 
you're gonna want some really good butter. Splurge on the butter. Get some really good butter. You want something that is pasture-raised, grass-fed. And then we have our, our um, ethnic flavorings. And then on this side, <laughs> yeah, we do have a couple. We do have a couple of dark chocolate bars in there too. And then we have our salad dressings. You can make a great salad dressing. If you want a salad dressing recipe, we don't have any in the plan. If you want a salad dressing down below, um, what do we put? We already used S. So put a D if you want the salad dressing recipe or a couple of them that are really healthy. Happy to put that in there. So a D for salad dressing. Now, I also have capers. I love capers. And that's a really nice flavor to add to salads. We have Parmesan cheese. You're going to want some of that some other ethnic flavorings, and a big jar of garlic, unless, if you don't mind peeling garlic, fresh garlic is better, but this is just handy to have. So, and then ketchup and mustard. One of the things, this one's almost out, but I have another one. One of the things is on the, that's on the meal plan is whole grain mustard. That's really yummy. And some olives. Now, olives are not on the recipe, but a couple of olives, in my opinion, are not going to hurt you, uh, and it adds so, so much flavor. So the key to this is flavors. You want to make sure that you have really great flavor choices in order to enjoy what you're eating. Okay, so pantry. So if you're afraid of your pantry right now, <laughs> afraid of what's in the cupboard, afraid you're going to find something that you probably don't want to be looking at for another month um, because it's not going to be good for you, put a pee down. Put a P for Paula. Put a P for pantry. If you have something that's in the pantry, that is not your friend. And I'd be surprised if all of you don't put a P down. And so I'm going to start with uh, what the things that I keep in my cupboard. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to open this one. This is where I, this is where I shoved all the stuff that I'm like, oh, these are Peter's things. We're not going to brag about those things. You can see that my homemade kimchi, I just started this yesterday. If you want the recipe for kimchi, put a K down. I will post the kimchi recipe in there. Kimchi is so, so good for you. Um, it's a fermented food and it's like a sauerkraut. It's a, it's a Korean sauerkraut and it's really easy to make. Um, it just takes some Napa cabbage and some salt. But <laughs> lots of peas, <laughs> lots of peas. Yep, p p p p p. Oh boy, that's okay because that means there's room for growth, right? All right. So yeah, okay, Jerry. I will definitely put the kimchi recipe in here too. So delicious. But you can make, you can make that. All right, we'll do a caramel. Uh, you can make that so easily. It takes about. <laughs> Cindy's actually tasted my sauerkraut and my kimchi. Not making sauerkraut as much because the kimchi, I will do Adela, the kimchi is um, a little bit quicker to make than sauerkraut. Sauerkraut needs to ferment for a long time, but this is so good for your gut, great gut food. And speaking of gut food, we also want something that satisfies our gut because if we don't have satisfaction, we're gonna be snacking all the time, right? Yeah, P, sorry to say, oh Vicky, it's okay, it's all right, all right, so, the first thing that we're gonna have is a protein powder. Now I have been, this is, this is the Life Vantage protein powder, and I really want you to consider buying a pack of this and trying this out. The reason, this is a really good clean one, it's very low carb, let's see, what are the carbs on this? It's two grams of fat, um, 18 grams of protein. This is why I use it. 18 grams of protein. It is so hard to get enough protein in our diet if we're eating healthy. Uh, and, and protein is what we need for our muscles, for our workouts. It's also, if we are losing weight, we do not want to lose our muscle weight. And so that's, it's important to maintain that. And it also gives us a satisfaction because protein is what keeps our body satisfied and keeps us from craving stuff. So does fat. Oh, Sherry, you're drinking that now? Good. Oh, and my gosh, we have um, some Axio that flavors it to like a creamsicle. I still have some left, but you can do that with a red raspberry, a red raspberry creamsicle. So good. Anyway, so I will mix this up, and uh, in the meal plan, there are a lot of smoothies, smoothie recipes in there, so um, I included some things that I'll, I'll post. I'll post that shopping list in the next, uh, well, I'll post it this afternoon. Got a couple meetings. But the reason that you want to consider a whey protein powder is because it satisfies you. It takes care of the hunger pangs and it's filling and it is very, very low calorie, very low carb, 
and really healthy for your body. Your body can assimilate it really well. So that's why I'm using this one. Um, I will put a link to the, the physique um, protein powder so that you can, or talk to the person who invited you to the page so that you can check that out and see why you would want to choose that. Now, if you are not dairy tolerant, you're going to want a different one. The There are some vegetarian ones or like there's a pea protein one. Pea protein is a pretty good choice. There are some other vegetarian ones you want to check the ingredients. And if you would like, if there's one that you're considering and you want to, um, and if, there, if you're considering that and you want to see if that's a good choice, you can pop it in the comments of this or ask a question in the group. And I'll be glad to take a look at that and see based on the ingredients if that's one that I'd suggest for you. Because if you're going to be buying, if you're going to spend spending money on it, did I not? Oh, that's Peter's phone. Um, if you're going to be spending money on it, you want to make sure that it's something that's good for you. All right, so what else have we got in here? We've got whole oats. So I, we use the old-fashioned oats. I like that the best because the more fiber that you have, the better. Um, okay, if you need to gain weight, is that a question? Do you need to gain weight? If you need to gain weight, then this eating plan is for you as well. We're just going to boost the calories. And it's still it's very well balanced, so we're going to boost the calories for you if you need to gain weight. Um, we want to make sure that the calories that you add are not junk food because that starts to set your body into um, bloat and inflammation, which is a different kind of weight gain that you do not want because that comes with damages. Okay, so, um, so Vicki, for you, for gaining weight, you want to look at the meal plan, and the meal plan is already posted in the files, and you'll want to look at the highest calorie of the, uh, of the choices, and you're going to want to follow that to start. And whatever questions you guys have as we go, dietarily, you know, food-wise, or even lifestyle-wise, we totally can address some of those. So don't be shy in the group. All right, then we've got our onions. Onions are a staple. Now, in the meal plan, there aren't a ton of onions, but onions are a staple. And I did a special, did a special post on my coaching page about onions, and we're doing an onion week. So you can learn more about that there. All right, da-da-da-da. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. We have nut butter. We have another thing of jam because it was on sale. And, and we wanted, wanted to stock up. And I, I've got some almond butter that I'm mixing right now. We have, I guess we have, we have maple syrup. So sweeteners. Sweeteners, you're going to want to have some sugar and some brown sugar on hand. Regular will be fine for the recipes. If you're using sugar to top anything, I really highly recommend this. This is, this is actually keto friendly. It's very low carb. Um, it is natural. It's, it comes from a fruit and it's actually really good. I use this in my coffee and my, my lattes and my tea. And my husband even likes it and he's a sugar lover. We've got some more of these because great snacks. If you are feeling snacky, this is a snack to enjoy. Uh, we have honey, you're gonna want some honey. I have some more, we love garlic. Garlic is so good, it's antifungal, it's anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, you want garlic. Uh, and then I've got some spices and seasonings. I do have some bouillon. This is a really good one, better than bouillon, but mostly I use bone broth and I keep that in the freezer, which we already looked at, but I buried it underneath there. So if, you, if you're gonna buy bone broth or if you're gonna buy bouillon, just go ahead and buy cans of bone broth. Um, bone broth is also very easy to make. And if you would like the recipe for bone broth, put a B down in the comments. All right, so did you find anything in your pantry yet that you really don't want? Okay, so now we're gonna go to some canned goods. I usually keep, and these are staples that you wanna have on hand because you always wanna have enough on hand that if you couldn't go to the store for an extra week, at least you've got three or four days worth of meal stuff that you can pull out that's healthy that you can like quickly um i think the samples what did i have for my samples here okay so meals we can eat any kind these are a couple that i always have ingredients on hand for is chili and um a shrimp stir fry so you saw that i had all the frozen vegetables there's my stir fry plus the shrimp bam and that can be done in 15 minutes right from the freezer into the pan with some sauce and you can see I've got a couple right here. I've got a couple of handy sauces. I've got pad thai sauce. 
and I've got tikka masala. So there's some sauces that are really easy to mix, or you may see there's some mixed vegetables. I know for our city market, there's mixed vegetables that's in the, that are in the fresh section, and it's a bunch of vegetables that are ready to stir fry, and it comes with a sauce. I don't recommend that you buy frozen with sauces because there's so much sugar and other stuff added to them. Okay, I will definitely put the recipe for that in there too, Carmel and, and Sherry. All right, then we have beans. I have lots of canned beans, uh, great northern beans, chili beans, black beans. So I have enough, obviously, you can see right here is, is my chili, other than a little bit of ground beef, which you saw in the freezer, that's ready to go. Or I can make vegetarian, I've got some quinoa below. Um, this, now if you are not familiar with greens, if you're southern you are, but this is actually a really nice, um, if you've not tried it before, I recommend that the seasoned southern style mixed greens, because greens are really an important part of our vegetable intake. You want about half of your plate to be vegetables, so if you can't keep it in the freezer and you can't keep it fresh, you can have it in cans and they store for a long time. I also have diced tomatoes uh, and I have some salsa. I have some pumpkin. Now, there's no recipes. Oh, there is a recipe for with that includes pumpkin. When you get pumpkin, you see this is not pumpkin pie filling. This is 100% pure pumpkin. That's what you want. You don't want the sweet and stuff. And then I also have some shoestring beets back here. And those are great even for a snack. So any of those are really good. All right, then we've got potatoes. Now, you see my onions are right here and my potatoes are down here. Well, I don't keep them together because they will sprout each other. No good. So I keep the potatoes in here. I keep the, I keep the onions in a different section of my kitchen, actually. And then I've got, um, some, I've got some lentil mixes. I got quinoa. So if you're not familiar with quinoa, this is what it looks like. It's actually a seed. And you can use this like rice or like couscous, there's a recipe for couscous, you can substitute this for either, and it's really high protein. So it's another way to get some great protein in there. It takes about the same amount of time to cook. Um, oh, and I have some, these are handy too, uh, if you like mushrooms and stuff. And I've got some, <laughs> I got some spring roll wraps because you can always make stuff with spring rolls, so easy. And then down here, I've got my favorites. Now these are my pasta and pasta substitutes. We have some organic black bean spaghetti. That's actually really good. And I've got some typical whole grain pasta. This is rotina. This is, I think this is actually on the, on the list for our meals. But then I also have, I have some rice. I have some brown rice, and you want brown rice, not the white rice. And you can do a parboiled. You can do the instant brown rice, too, if you're really wanting to have something handy. And then I also have this great red rice. This is delicious very special nutty flavor. And then if you are looking for something that's an alternative to the pasta, the gluten-free stuff, oh my gosh, if you have an Asian store handy, there's these sweet potato vermicelli, so good. Uh, and there's a smaller version, they call them glass noodles sometimes, Korean glass noodles, those are also made out of yams. Those are a really good option and they're gluten-free. And then also in keto, these shirataki noodles, are delicious. You do have to rinse them. They smell a little fishy at first, but they're made out of a vegetable. Uh, really, really good for you. And and um, really, really good for keto. Good choice for keto. And then I also have some granola down here. And I've got an, I've just got an extra container of milk in case I run out of milks because I love my lattes. So that's basically what we have except for my spice cupboard. Now we're gonna have a list. We're gonna have a list in, um, in the group soon for shopping. What you want, we're talking flavors right here, so you wanna make sure that your spice cupboard has the good stuff. And I'll have a list, but some of the things that I use, I am so spoiled. I love, love, love this, this, uh, this spice rack here. But you can see I have a lot of choices. The things we use most are like curry and cumin and uh, zesty Italian no salt mix, uh, some, probably some garlic powder. What else here? The Old Bay seasoning is good. There's a, just different spices. So you'll want to, we've got some chili spices in there. Um, you, want, you want the spices that you like. So if you like Asian, pick out a couple of Asian spices to have in your cupboard because you're gonna embellish and make this fun for this challenge. If you love Italian, you're gonna find some really fun Italian spices. Make sure your oregano and your basil are fresh. 
get a fresh bottle. If they've been sitting there for a while, get a fresh bottle. Just cut to the chase and get a fresh bottle. Um, so pick something that you're gonna love. There's pumpkin pie spice in there, I think, for a couple of the recipes too, because we got muffins that we're making. Mm, muffins. So you, you'll wanna have some flour and things like that. But So your basics, except for the baking, we didn't really go over the baking. So your basic baking stuff, you're gonna want sugar, you're gonna want brown sugar, you wanna, you wanna want baking powder, baking soda, and whole wheat flour. Now, um, Bob's Red Mill and King Arthur are really good brands of good quality flowers that you can find that's organic. I Go organic when you can. You wanna go organic when you can because we're at the top of the food chain. Wild caught and organic are gonna have the least amount of contaminants because everything we're eating is um, made ready to produce more plants or more animals. So the top of the food chain, whatever is in their flesh, we get in ours, so it becomes us. So make sure that where you can, um, I can also put a link to um, the, the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen if you would like to make sure that you know, if you have to choose, like berries. You want to do berries as much as you can organic, um, but raspberries and blackberries, I'm better that than, uh, I'm better with you not having those organic if you have to choose. Blueberries, you want organic. Apples, you want organic. Grapes, you want organic. Strawberries, you want organic. Um, but like spaghetti squash? No, don't bother. So, all right, so I can put, okay, O for, or, let's do O for organic. If you want the clean 15 dirty dozen list, the O for organic, it will make sure that I remember to put it in there because I'm busy yakking. So, what questions do you have and how can we help? Because we want you to set up your, you, we want you to set up your pantry, your kitchen, so that it's your friend, not your foe. Um, your body is your best friend. Your kitchen is your second best friend. So we want everybody to have some good friends here. We want this to be successful for you. I didn't really talk a lot about drinks. Um, teas, especially green tea, is really good if you're looking for weight loss. Uh, herbal teas are delicious and keep your hands full and your belly happy and keep you hydrated. Uh, coffee, yes, coffee's fine. I wouldn't overdose on the coffee. And most of the problems that people have with coffee is when they go to Starbucks and they get all the frou-frou sweetener stuff in it and thickeners and all these flavors. And those flavors are not like from my spice cupboard. Those flavors are syrups loaded with sugar. So you're adding hundreds of calories. So instead of a 60, a 60 um, calorie cup of coffee with some cream, you're getting a 650 calorie cup of coffee. So if you have questions about that, just pop them in the comments. What did you find? What was, okay, what's a, what's a culprit? I can, I can share with you. We've got, oh, uh, let's see, here's the bad stuff. We have roasted nuts, which isn't so terribly bad, but I t remember I said that was not good fat. Uh, we have some Christmas candy. We also have, and they're organic, but we do have some tortilla chips. We do, we do. Oh, here's one thing that I didn't share with you, but this is a good, if you're gonna have a snack, or if you wanna use this for one of your breads um, for in the meal plan, these wasa crackers are an excellent choice. Uh, they're filled with fiber, so um, zero fat, two grams of protein, but they're filled with fiber. So you're gonna get, let's see, carbs are eight. It's pretty, it's really low carb if you're looking at breads. So if you're really trying to stay keto while you're doing this, but you wanna follow the meal plan, this is a great bread like thing to have. We don't eat, I don't eat a lot of bread stuff. Oh, look, I have some chocolate up here too from Christmas. Oh, we've got, do I have a Kashi bar? One of the things that's in here is Kashi bars. I think I've got one in here. Yeah, so Kashi is one of the, right there you see it. Kashi is one of the um, hot white, we, okay, Vicki, white rice is not so awful, but you really want brown because white rice really doesn't have many nutrients left in it. It's, all the bees are stripped out of it and everything. Um, and if it's too, if it, and if the reason you have white rice is because it takes 20 minutes instead of 40 minutes to cook, just get the um, parboiled, the instant, the instant brown rice. And I think that's ready in five or seven minutes. And that's, that's even faster than the white rice, right? So <laughs> white rice is really not, I'm sure 
everybody else is finding their cookies and their and their crackers and their uh, and their chips and stuff and you have white rice not so bad so okay so own up to what you got the vet the um my favorite of the um granola bars is probably the kashi because those have the most nutri nutritional ingredients you ask somebody asked me about cliff bars some of the cliff bars are okay not all of them so um if you again if you have questions pop them in the comments oh hey what about this what about that happy to give you this is my opinion I've, i'm trained for this but it's my opinion and you're going to decide in the end this is custom to you you got to love your kitchen but it's got to be able to love you back too so i hope that that helps i'm not getting tons of questions but pop them in the comments and i'll follow through with everybody's with everybody's um requests for recipes and th things if there's something that you have that you lara bars okay lara bars are they're kind of in the middle of the road the reason why i say that is because lara bars you have to kind of look at the ingredients of each one so if you have some favorites uh, take a look at the ingredients and see what are the sugars in them and how much i look at the balance of the of the carbs for the and the carbs and sugars for the protein that they give me i'm okay with the amount of fats most of them have because most of the most of the granola bars these days have healthier fats because they know that's what people are looking for but most people, they, they kind of doctor up the names of the sugars so you don't necessarily recognize the sugars. So it's really, I look at the quantity of the protein. What am I getting? What's the bang for my buck? Or in order to get that much protein, am I sucking down a whole bunch of sugar, a whole bunch of carbs? So put down, if you take a picture, Marty, if you take a picture of the ingredients on the Lara bars are your favorite, pop them in the comments, I'll take a look and I'll, and I'll tell you if that's one I'd recommend or if maybe I'd say, yeah. Take a look at a kashi that's kind of like that and see. And kashi is not the end all be all. There are other ones too. So I, you know, everybody's got their own favorite brand, and that's fine. If you got your own favorite brand, stick with that favorite brand. But if you have a question about it, if you're wondering, and a lot of people, I do. Um, when I have a client that that is just starting, I usually take them through and somebody's on here. I think that or will be on here who I have to take her through. Um, a grocery shopping trip and I'll have to do it virtually but when we get to the produce department there are a lot a lot of questions and when we get to the salad dressing department and when we get to the um, the fats oh I didn't talk about fats so fats fats and oils and vinegars um, I so you see my favorite my favorite olive oil is that California oil that big bottle in the middle right here California is my favorite one that you can find in most grocery stores. I vetted out a whole bunch of them, and that one is actually a really authentic. It's not a doctored olive oil. It's clean. It's healthy. Uh, it has good fats in it. And uh, we also have, uh, this is delicious, this toasted sesame oil. If you're doing Asian at all, a couple of spritzes of that. What great flavor. And then um, got my salt. I've got, I do have some coconut oil, and I use the... Um, virgin or extra virgin the extra virgin olive oil or the extra virgin coconut oil is usually the one that doesn't taste like sunscreen <laughs> if you don't like that coconut flavor uh, you want some healthy fats and that's a pretty healthy fat and then I've got my vinegars uh, the vinegars that you're going to use the most are my favorite healthy one is in the back I also have I also have cocoa for smoothies that's no sugar but my favorite one in the back is the um, the vinegar, the apple cider vinegar with the mother. This is a fermented food. It's the only fermented food you can find on the shelf. And it is so good for your gut. And it's, it's antiviral too. So uh, let's see, you're going to have balsamic vinegar is up there. Apple cider vinegar and red wine vinegar are going to be the ones you're really going to want to focus on. And I have a really good olive oil. And I've got my little misto spray thing that I fill with olive oil too. That's, those are my go-tos. And then I've got my 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 happy my happy sea, sea salt too the pink sea salt so those are really important to have as your basics if there's something I missed um, hit me up I uh, if you if there's something that you're particularly concerned about and you don't think it's relative to anybody else Braggs yes Braggs is one of the brands now there are more brands now that are selling the um, the vinegar but what you want to read is with the mother and you should see something cloudy on the bottom 
I, I'm too short to reach my bottle right now, or I wouldn't. I don't want to watch. I don't want to have you watch me climb. <laughs> so, but Bragg's, Bragg's is a really good is a really good um, brand. They also have, if you um, are concerned about a healthy soy sauce, they have Bragg's amino acids, which are like soy sauce. It has the flavor, but no soy. If you want to stay away from soy. So again, hit me up. I've been talking too long. Thank you so much for joining us and. Uh, Really glad to have you in this in this celebration. Oh, oh the shame. Oh the shame. The only one I have open is the bad one. It's not bad. And and the, the nice thing is there's stuff in it, which means we haven't eaten it. But the key for you now is to go through and see, all right, what in here is not serving me? And please do not be afraid to throw something away. I know a lot of us are like, well, I can't waste it. I spent money on it. Well, what's your other alternative? It's either gonna sit in there and get old or you're gonna eat it. Do you really want it on your body? It's better in the trash. Unless you know, if you have kids who eat that stuff, you can pawn it off on them. Say, hey, I got a big bag of stuff for you. You're going to love it. It's stuck in a bag of Twizzlers. Go poison yourself. No, just kidding. Sort of. <laughs> so don't let it hang around. If it's, if it's a foe instead of a friend, don't let it hang around in your kitchen. Find something that's really fun and good. Uh, another thing people ask me about is dried fruits. I don't recommend having a lot of dried fruits on hand because they're sweet and they're yummy and we eat too many of them. Because really, when you eat a little handful of dried fruit, it's really like eating a whole container of regular fruit and a lot of them have sugar added. I'd rather see you eat some fresh fruit or some frozen fruit. You can put, uh, you can put uh, frozen cherries or frozen berries in a bowl, let them thaw a little bit or mix them into a, into a smoothie. Much better choice for you. So. That's enough for now. I love to talk too much. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm happy to do more. If you have suggestions about something else you want us to do a class on that we haven't thought about yet, or you don't think we thought about it yet because we haven't posted them all, I don't think, um, put it in the comments. Happy to do it. The more I get into this, I'm like, oh, I can do all this coaching stuff. I can do all this health stuff. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. We all have our own knowledge. We all are smart around this and we're learning more every day. Everybody has credibility with their food. We all know stuff. Let's share if you have tips, put your tips in. If you have a great recipe for salad dressing, you can post it too, really. If you have a great recipe that you think is a really good option for the health challenge that is for muffins, or if you have a really good tip about how you store something or how you use something, if you go into the vegetable section and go, oh my God, I don't even know what to pick. The only things I know are carrots and celery, green beans, maybe once or twice a year, asparagus. I don't know what to pick. We got a roasted vegetables recipe. I've got some suggestions for it. I will put that in, I will put that in as we get closer to, to that. If you see, other things that you want to answer, have questions answered on, please, we want to help. We want this to be really successful and fun for you. And the more we share, the more we care for each other. All right. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to go out and play in the snow because it's snowing again. I'll let us know. All right. See you later. See you on the challenge. Bye.